Brawl Talk just happened, guys, and guess what? I've got all the spoilers here for you. Hope you enjoy this video. Okay guys, so today I'm going to be covering every spoiler that I could find in the Brawl Talk update video. Basically what I'm saying is I'm going to take the time to explain and cover the things that other people may have missed. I will give my opinions at the end of this video, but before that, let's go ahead and just jump right into things and make sure you subscribe to my channel for sneak peeks as soon as I can possibly give them to you guys. Okay, first bit of information, global release is December 12th. Now, this is now public information that was not on Brawl Talk. It is going to be starting in the morning Helsinki, Finland time. So what that means it's going to start in Asia, then move west by west, country by country, until the end of probably the workday in Finland or something like that. Now, if you're curious, Finnish morning time is actually late at night USA. So their workday typically starts for me at 11 p.m., and I'm on the west, west coast side of things. So hopefully, by the time that you wake up in the morning, December 12th, it will be available for you guys, Like kind of like the a, a first Christmas in December. Next sneak peek we got is Leon, an invisible chameleon legendary brawler. Now he's medium range, actually about to be the same as Colt, maybe slightly longer than that. Additionally, Leon has a 4,480 HP at max level. Now that means that he's, his HP is basically exactly the same as Penny's, Terra's, and Jesse's. Just to give you an idea of kind of what he's like. Now his super means that he actually goes invisible and attacking or taking damage removes his invisibility. Now in the gameplay, the invisibility cooldown did not reset when Leon took damage, but it did reset when attacking. My best guess is that if he receives damage, he, he will be revealed to enemy brawlers for a split second, kind of like how what happens when you're in the bush, but he will continue to be invisible until the duration of his super, unless he actually then attacks. At that point, the cooldown is actually reset and the invisibility stops. Now, what's interesting here is that he seems to have a very fast movement speed. Looking at the gameplay, it looks like he's much faster than regular brawlers, and my best guess is that his movement speed is actually similar to something like Crow's or even Colt with his star power, or even Mortis. When he goes invisible, he actually speeds up faster, which you can tell from this gameplay right here. And if you ask me, it looks very similar to how fast the brawlers move when they have the energy drink. I have no idea what it's going to be like for him to use his super on an, on an energy drink and just go super crazy fast. That'd be insane. Now, one other information about the invisibility, based on the angle that the Nita bear bot used to attack the bear that was chasing her. It looks like even if you are standing right next to an enemy brawler, they cannot see Leon, which really means that he'd be able to sneak up close to them and deal some damage. Now it's close in this gameplay, but it really does look like the angle is more towards the bear than Leon. Now this is actually really important because if you pay attention to the damage dealt in the actual gameplay, the damage decreases the further the shot gets out and is most deadly when Leon is close up. So he very much is kind of like an assassin type brawler dealing tons of damage up close and little damage out at a distance. So this is kind of like the opposite of Piper. The lowest damage that I saw was 208 and the highest damage that I saw in the gameplay was 676. And on top of that, he shoots out four shots with a similar range to Colt. Now that means that with a single shot, if he lands all shots at max distance, he's gonna deal about 832 damage, which is not very much, but up close with one single shot with all four of those landing, he's gonna be dealing 2,548 damage or up to 7,644 with three quick shots, which is enough to three shot kill any brawler except for El Primo or Frank. Another interesting thing to note about his attack pattern is it actually spreads out like bows does. Seems to be the exact same direction as bows. So as long as you're good with bow and being able to land a lot of shots when you're moving to the left, then you'll be able to do lots of point damage. And if you're moving to the right while you shoot, you'll be able to do a spread of damage, which is really awesome. Next sneak peek we learned is there are 3D environments and that basically means that Brawl Stars has gone from portrait to landscape to 3D uh, and also the maps are all getting four tiles wider, two on both sides. That means every single map in the game is actually going to be 
slightly bigger than it used to be. Now in the actual video, they said that the viewing angle is the same, uh, but it does very much look different. My guess is that it looks different because the maps are wider. And so you think that the angle is different, but they say it's the same. And they also said something that was very interesting. And that was that it is rendered in real time 3D. I don't know all of the details behind this, but my thought when they say that they have re-rendered it in 3D or whatever, that means map skins. Possibly they also mentioned Brawla Days. Brawla Days is coming. We don't have any information on what Brawla Days is, but my guess is that could actually be like a temporary map skin rework where there's like a bunch of snow on the ground or something like that for all the maps or something. Additionally, for Brawla Days, my guess is it could be holiday themed brawler skins might become available, maybe even for a limited amount of time, maybe discounted gem sales. No information on this yet, but I can only imagine that it will be huge. My guess is that this could actually be when Star Shelly skin is going to be released to everyone, but that is just a hunch. They also teased us a little bit in this Brawl Talk. Mortis's hat is Okay, so I seriously doubt that they would troll us with this unless they were actually bringing his hat back. They're just It just doesn't make sense for them to do so. Now, if you look at this artwork right here, you can see the mortise on the bottom and the mortise on the top and how it's kind of like the current mortise, but just with a hat, does look totally different than the previous hat artwork um, when mortise used to have his hat on there. Just very slightly, especially if you look around the collar around the bottom of the hat, that looks different than it used to be. My guess is they're going to be bringing back like a similar mortise skin to that we used to have and they're getting rid of the current one that we have or they're gonna be keeping both of them. And if they do that, I don't know which one would be the default skin and which one would be like a purchasable skin with gems. I guess what the point here is that if you meme enough about something that you want in Brawl Stars, eventually they'll add it. I don't know how that works out, but that, they definitely have listened to the viewers and I'm really excited about that. Next sneak peek that we learn is new Brawler 3D models. We have one for Shelly that looks very similar, just a little bit cleaner. We also have one for Bull, also a little bit similar, slightly different, but mostly just cleaner. Nita, she looks like she has a little bit more shagginess going on, but mostly the same. Barley, he looks more clean. That mustache is really nice. Brock, this I think is going to be the most controversial skin. Like, what do you think about this skin in comparison to how Brock used to look? Uh, I don't know, it's really different. So let me know what you guys think. Then we also have Dynamite and this skin I think that like the last Dynamite skin was cool but I think this one is way cooler and it's just downright better. Additionally you may have noticed some Brawl Stars merchandise on the tables okay we had a Brawl Stars mug um, we also had a Spike plushie which I'm really excited to get that the new uh, uh, Nita bear hat which looks really really cool also you may have noticed if you zoom in really really close a Colt figurine what <laughs> back when Lex and I were actually in Finland doing the community roundtable that was a sneak peek in the background of our scene that we we weren't sure if people would notice it or not some people noticed on reddit but we got to actually see it and it's really really cool another interesting thing in the gameplay that you'll notice is that the teammates circles are going to be blue and then the enemies circles are going to be red but now yours is actually going to be green which is really going to be handy and just helping your eyes naturally just locate where your brawler is especially when lots of brawlers are kind of clumped up and stuff like that. Okay, now that I've covered every spoiler that I could possibly find in the Brawl Talk recap, let's go ahead and share my opinion of all of this. I'm freaking stoked, guys. This looks so epic, and I seriously cannot wait for this to come out. I, I seriously cannot wait. Now, Leon, let's start off by talking about Leon. First of all, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I did a video recently talking about possible brawler ideas, and I totally guessed an invisible brawler. I mean, I guess a lot of different types of brawlers, but I guess an invisible brawler, and I'm super stoked to see this being added to the game. I think it's gonna be really, really cool to see how much of an assassin type brawler he is. I feel like Crow used to be the assassin type brawler that I loved, where he could just like jump in, jump out, do tons of damage, and get out, and stuff like that. Now that Leon's gonna be in the game, I'm actually okay with Crow being a little bit more like long range, kind of like crowd control, keep people poisoned, damage over time type of a brawler, and Leon can be that assassin type brawler that I'm really excited to see. Now he is a legendary brawler, which means it's gonna be very difficult to unlock him, but I will definitely do my best. I've got over 350 boxes ready to open up. I'm really hoping to get him without having to drop some money, but um, we'll see what happens. I'm saving my, my hard earned money for, first of all, living expenses, and then also for some skins, because I, I imagine we're gonna be seeing some new skins in the game. They didn't mention anything about that in the actual Brawl Talk video. They just said, 
said skin reworks, but I can't imagine that they're not going to be adding skins. I think that that's just obviously what they're going to be doing, which is going to be awesome. Another thing that I really like about Leon is the fact that he seems to be like a high skill cap type brawler where um, where you he, he has a little bit more HP and survivability than Crow does, but he actually has a relatively slow reload speed. And then also that arcing pattern means that it's going to take a little bit more skill for people to really land off a decent amount of damage from a distance. Additionally, it's really interesting how many mechanics from other brawlers they took. So like they took the arcing pattern from Bo, they took different range, meaning different damage from Piper, although it's like flipped, so he does more damage up close and stuff. Um, but then that added invisibility is just so incredibly cool. And also the fact that he seems to go an incredibly fast walking speed. I'm interested to see how he's actually going to be on like heist. Like is he going to be legit on heist because he can just go invisible, walk right past people, and then do tons of damage onto the safe right up close? I mean, over 7,000 damage really, really fast with his regular attack. That's really, really insane. In fact, with three shots, he will be able to take out 25% of a heist safe. One fourth of a heist safe with three quick shots. That's crazy. And his ability to sneak past brawlers. Oh my gosh, that's going to be epic. I'm really excited to really dive into the mechanics of Leon and see exactly how his um, invisibility works out. Um, really interesting right there. An excellent brawler that they're adding into the game. And I cannot wait to see which other brawlers they've been working on. They didn't say anything about new brawlers. In fact, in this sneak peek, they just said new brawler. But we know that they've been working on brawlers for a while because of the community roundtable. My guess is since we're they're only saying one is that either we'll just get like a bunch that they haven't told us about yet or they will start to release them periodically like maybe in a month from now or something like that like I don't know that's just a guess but uh, that would make sense to me okay let's talk about the 3d environments well actually before that let's talk about increasing the sizes of the maps by two by four tiles two tiles on both sides I am so excited about this and the reason why is because Brawl Stars has felt like the it's felt like a little cramped adding two tiles is going to be really a big difference now I'm actually really excited to see how they actually change how the different maps are going to interact with each other because if you'll notice in the gameplay here we got Crystal Cavern and Crystal Cavern used to just have like that wall on the side and with the bushes now you can actually go around there's going to be kind of like a little bit of like a feast or famine service circle of bush around that wall, the left and the right side laners are going to be in a very interesting position to try and figure out where they're going to be. And there's gonna be a lot more bush ganking and things like that. Like those two extra tiles make a huge difference in that one map. And I cannot wait to see what's going to happen in all of the other maps in the game. You also may have noticed that not only are they like two, four tiles wider uh, width wise, it almost looks like on the heist map, it looks like there are also more tiles depth wise or deep wise, which is going to be interesting to see how that actually changes some of the mechanics. Now that being said, let's actually jump in talking about the 3D environments. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. I am like mind blown. Artwork looks so fantastic and incredible and I cannot wait to see more of it. Also, it's very interesting to see that uh, that puddle splash map with like island trees kind of like on the side of things like that. Like I, it's going to be super exciting to see how the different maps are actually going to look different. Um, I would... I, I think this is really, really cool. I think this opens up a ton of possibilities for, for Brawl Stars to actually start doing more types of maps and maybe even different decorations, maybe even interactive maps maybe sometime in the future. I don't know. I'm really excited about it. I think the artwork is just phenomenal. And I, I seriously... I mean, I am a little sad that some of my like really great Brawl Stars videos, like my Brawl Olympics videos, are now going to look like old and dingy. And now that even though the video quality is like super high quality, now they're going to look old and dingy in comparison to the new stuff. But I'm really excited. And, you know, Brawl Olympics, guys, happens once a year. So you never know when that's going to start up again. Now, the, the new 3D models, I mentioned Brock being kind of a con controversial thing. I don't know. They they took a, they took away another bra another brawler hat. <laughs> Didn't they learn from the first time they did that? Now, with that being said, I do think that this new artwork fits Brawl Stars a little bit more. Like originally, when Brawl Stars was released, it was supposed to be like kind of like a Wild Western type of a theme and stuff. And like Brock being like a military brawler like it, it didn't really fit things I, I felt like the closest artwork that he had with another brawler was kind of cult 
but it didn't really like jive very well with Colt and he kind of seemed like a loner as far as like his artistic appeal. Now, I I do feel like his artwork is kind of similar to Colt's where he's going to like kind of be similar and he he feels more like Brawl Starsy. Um I'm going to be sad to 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 lose him, but I could absolutely see him being them adding like some type of like a military outfit skin for a future update or something like that. I don't know, but it's going to be interesting. Dynamite I absolutely think looks way cooler than the old Dynamite. The old Dynamite looked dust Dusty and dirty, and uh, you know I know he's a miner, but uh, I think that this is going to be way cooler and uh, definitely really cool. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I did my best to try and give you guys as much additional insight into the next upcoming Brawl Stars update as I possibly could. But for the full recap on what is coming to Brawl Stars, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss any sneak peeks because I will be doing those on my channel, guys. Love you very much. A huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for helping support the channel. There's a link in the description below if you're interested in becoming one of those. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.